It started as a curiosity, but quickly became a passion. I was obsessed with navigating rapids at McConnell's Mill and surfing waves that form at high water. I loved the nuances of balance and fluidity, finding flow in the whitewater as it stampeded around massive boulders. Stand-up paddling was freedom, a way to connect with the water and everything around it. Paddleboarding has this amazing ability to align special moments, like a rising fog at first light, a sunset you can't help but watch until the very end, or maybe watching your friends standing up for the first time. If you're like me, just the feeling of a board knifing through the water ignites an innate sense of satisfaction. It also implores you to paddle watersheds of every kind. From headwater springs to expansive lakes, paddleboards can go just about anywhere, which only adds to their ability to hold us captive in the pursuit. When my friends and I started paddleboarding, there weren't schools or outfitters we could look to for advice on where to go or how to do certain things. We learned from each other and through trial and error. This journey, I realized, was leading me towards something other than just paddling for my own enjoyment. I was being drawn to teach others what I had learned and show them places best seen from the vantage of a board. I wanted others to have an easier way to get into stand-up, and most importantly, to make sure their first experiences were good ones. When I started Surf's Up Adventures, I needed to find a perfect spot, somewhere beautiful, unique, and accessible. I was searching for a place that would be great for someone's first time, but also a place people would go back to. Somewhere that inspired a sense of exploration and left you wondering what else was out there. That place was marine. There's more than 40 miles of shoreline on Lake Arthur within Marine State Park. It gets its name from the glacial moraines that formed here during the last ice age. The lake is a labyrinth of hidden coves and wooded shorelines surrounded by rolling hills. You can paddle right up to beaver dams, eagle nests, and floating gardens of lily and spatterdock. You can even watch great blue and green herons stealthily honing in on schools of fish along the shallow banks. I've been guiding there for almost a decade now and still find something new almost every time. While it's easy to focus on Moraine's wildlife, the lake also has a way of bringing people together and providing a perfect place for any ability level or age group. My favorite moments are when someone stands up for the first time when they never thought they could, or seeing a family come together bound close by the shoreline. Experienced paddlers can test their endurance in the lake's open water while beginners find confidence in the calm bays. Lake Arthur has always drawn a crowd with an affinity for self-powered crafts. This could be a product of the horsepower limits on boats, the lake's clean water, or the variety of access points and launches. But more than anything, I think it is a feeling that you get there. For me, there's no better way to experience it than on a board. Somewhere along the line, guiding became more than a passion. It forged the path of my life as much as the glacial architects influenced this region. None of it would have happened without Moraine. It's the place I taught my first lesson and led my first tour, where I've shared so many smiles and laughter with people from all around the world. It taught me a patience I never had before and gave purpose to a life spent exploring waterways in one way or another. These moments at Moraine are something I hope everyone can experience. And while paddleboarding isn't the only way, it is a beautiful one, one you can go back to across a lifetime. 
Reliving the time when you first stood up, when you paddled across the lake into a surreal sunset, or any of those moments that seem to happen more in a place like Marine.